Good morning friends. Welcome back to Panika Tutorials. Today I am going to discuss one of the important concepts in Python programming which is a decorator. The students who are preparing for university exams and also jobs related to the Python programming, this concept is very important. You can expect one or two questions related to the decorators in the interview. Majority of the students will fail to answer this question because it is one of the important and confusing concepts. Today I am here with you to clear all your confusions related to the decorators. I hope you will enjoy my video. So I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. In the last three videos I have discussed three important concepts. The first concept I have discussed is how can you pass a function as a parameter in another function. Then I have discussed how can you define a function inside another function. Then I have discussed how can you return a function from another function as a value. I hope you have watched these three videos. If you did not watch those videos or if you don't know those concepts, I request you to go back and watch those videos and come back to this video. If you know those concepts, you can easily understand the Python decorators. So now let me define what is a Python decorator. Python decorator is a function that takes a function, adds some functionality to it and returns the original function. So let's take that you have a function. If you want to add some extra features or extra functionality to it, then you can go for the decorator without modifying the code of the original function. You are not modifying the original function. You can say that, sir, if I want to add extra functionalities, I will write those extra functionalities inside the function definition. What is the need of the decorator? That is superb. Your question is fantastic. I agree with you. But without modifying the original content of the function, I want to add some extra features, then I will go for the decorator. So what I will do is that I will discuss this concept with a one program. Let me define a function called display. Okay, it does not take any parameters and it will print output as good morning, good morning and another statement it will execute is print welcome to Pernika tutorials is it clear so this is the display function you have now what I am doing is that I am defining another functionality called another function called display underscore info this function takes one argument which is a function okay and then I am defining another function inside this function. Okay. So let me write here add underscore display. Add underscore display. Then here what I am doing? I am writing like share. Okay. Just I am doing the cheap self publicity. Okay, then I am calling the function and then I am writing one more statement print subscribe. Is it clear? And then I want to return this function. See the indentation is very important. So I will write return add underscore display. Okay, you are returning the a function which is a add underscore display. So this is what I told you in the last video. How can you return a function from another function? In, you know that how to return a value, but here I am returning a function which is add underscore display. Is it clear? Now once I completed writing this one, okay, here I am writing. Suppose let's take that just I call a printer, not okay, sorry. We are calling a function called display. If I just call the display function, what will be the output I can expect? I can expect the output as good morning. I will expect the output as good morning and then welcome to Pannika tutorials. This is the output I can expect if I just call the display. This is very simple. You already know it. 
if you call a function the control will go to the function definition what are the statements which are there in the body of the function those statements will be executed it is very simple now we will make the complexity by adding few lines to it okay so what i will do is that i will write a statement called suppose let's take that a is equal to i will call the display underscore info function by passing the display function as a argument look at here you are calling a function to this function what you are passing instead of passing a value you are passing the function is it clear so this concept we'll call it as passing a function as an argument in another function this one also i have discussed in one of the earlier videos look at here once you call the display underscore function info function now the control will go here and fuNC so fuNC will consist of display this is the actual parameter and this is the formal parameter you can write the same name also is it clear the actual parameter name and the formal parameter name can be same or can be different now once you come here there is a function definition so for inside another function you are defining another function is it clear this is the function definition of display now look at here what i am doing returning add underscore display we know that how to return a value but we are returning the function so if you are returning a function a will consist of this function add underscore display so i need to call that a so this will be the complete program is it clear now what will happen look at here so the control will come here the function will have then you are calling the add underscore display if you are calling the add underscore display first you will get the output as like comma share is it clear i hope you are able to follow with me look at here i will again discuss display underscore info so you are calling this one and this function is defining this function but it is not executing it is returning it once you return after that you will call this one a underscore then what will happen like share fuNC what is fuNC is nothing but the display so you are calling the display function what are the statements which are there in the display function will be executed one is you will get the output as good morning and next one you will get it as output as welcome to Panika tutorials okay once it is done the control will come back here and then this statement will be executed so you will get the output as subscribe is it clear so this is the output you can expert by using this program now look at here when you are calling the just display function you are getting the output as good morning and welcome to panika tutorials now you have added few functionalities to the display function so that you are getting the output as like share and subscribe extra is it clear now this same program i can write it in another way also now let me write the same program in another style so what i will do is that first i will write the display underscore function so def def definition for the function and then display underscore info okay f u n c and then you will define another function called add underscore display and then you will write the statement such as print like comma share and then you will call the fuNC function and then you will write another statement called print subscribe is it clear then you will return return add underscore display this is the function i am writing is it clear so then what i will do i will add this i will add display underscore info okay now i will write the actual function definition called display so def display then i am writing print good morning
and then I am writing print welcome to Pernica tutorials I hope it is visible for you does I missed any point I want to write this function I have written and then I want to write this function then what I will do I hope it is visible otherwise I will write here once it is done you have to call the function called display that's all you have to call the display function see this part is after this one Maybe if I write, maybe I don't know whether it is visible for you or not. So that's why I'm writing here. Okay, look at here. Now, if you just call the display function, leave about this entire code. If you ignore this entire code or if you write in the comment session, what the display function will give you the output. The display is a function call. The control will go to the display function and it will give you the good morning and welcome to Panica tutorials. Now, if I uncomment them, if I execute this entire program, if I give the display, then what will be the output? The output will, I will get it as like, share and then you will get good morning, welcome to Pernica tutorials and then subscribe, you are getting the output. So, according to the user, he is just calling the display function. But if he is just calling the display function, he should get good morning and welcome to Pernica tutorials. But he is getting extra functionalities or extra statements. This is what the decorator. So for the display function, you are adding extra functionalities. So you can write the decorator program like this or you can write like this also. Both are perfectly fine. But if you are a professional programmer, you start writing like this. If you are a learner, you can write like this also, so that you will understand each point. Is it clear? So for better understanding, I will execute both the programs in Jupyter Notebook. Now let me define a function called display. Okay, and it does not have any parameters. I am writing a statement called print good morning. And I am writing another statement called print welcome to Pernica tutorials okay now i am defining another function called display underscore info and it is taking one argument as func then i am defining another function called def which is a defining the function and i am writing the name of the function as add underscore display and it will not take any parameters and then I am writing a statement called print like share the Pernica tutorials video so obviously if I does not write also you will do it after watching this video and FUNC I am calling the function and then I am writing print subscribe to Pernica tutorials YouTube channel okay is it clear then what i want to do i want to return the function called add underscore display okay now look at here if i just call the function called display can you guess what will be the output we will get if i just call the display function the control will go to the function definition called display and what is the output you are getting you will get the output as good morning welcome to Panica tutorials if you have a doubt let me run the code and show the output for you see we are getting the output as good morning welcome to Panica tutorials instead of this one let me modify the code little bit a is equal to display underscore info and I am passing one function called display and then I am calling the function a look at here display underscore info is a function it is taking one parameter as a name of the function so what is the function you are passing you are passing the display and if i run the code here look at what is the output you are getting you are getting like share good morning welcome to pernica tutorials subscribe to pernica tutorials this is the output you are getting now we can do the decoration in another way also already I have discussed let me modify the code little bit so that you will understand that one first I need to define the display underscore info function and then I have to write at the rate 
display underscore info okay then what i need to do i can rewrite these statements just by calling the display function look at here normally if there is no this display underscore info function there is no decorator what this display function will give it will give the output for you as good morning welcome to Parnika tutorials as you are doing the decoration you will get the output as like share good morning welcome to Parnika tutorials subscribe to Parnika tutorials see when I executed this program I got the output as like share Good morning, welcome to Panika Tutorials. Subscribe to Panika Tutorials. I hope you have understood the decorators, which is one of the important concept and confusing concept in the Python programming. Still, if you have any doubts, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear your doubts as early as possible. In the next video, I will discuss how to pass the parameters in the decorators means decorators with parameters concept i will discuss thank you for watching the complete video have a nice day